Okay, welcome back to Market Sense. Let's get into Market Voice to speak about really what's happening with some specific names. Pharma is the buzzword, but there are some others which are doing uh, well in today's session as well. Some news bits on Suven. We spoke about Pharma being the buzzword. I think they've, did I read it correctly? They've got two product patents for NCEs in Europe. Uh, Four and a half percent higher in trade for Suven Life Science, two product patents. That's big. I don't know how big the markets would be, but yeah, it's a positive news and the stock is duly reacting. But getting a market voice, Yogesh Mehta, PCG Advisory Equities at Motila Loswal joins us right now on the show. Yogesh, thanks so much for joining in. The story today, at least, uh, seems to be that of margin expansion. Bharat Forge, Wellspin, Ranbaxy, anybody that came out with better margins than expected have done well. How have you read into some of the numbers that have come in? Uh, yeah, there is a positive as well as a negative surprise is uh, mixed bag because we have seen Lupin yesterday which is a uh, shrink in the EBITDA margin and uh, little negative on top line as well. Wherein Renbax he has come out with a better set of numbers bearing uh, quarter on quarter comparison of uh, last year was uh, not comparable because of exclusive US rights which was find it uh, odd uh, crore. So that way we are reading that uh, overall EBITDA margins are showing improvement but uh, then also on the pet number uh, bearing only pharma sectors and IT which has performed well but rest of the sectors are not uh, uh, are subdued and muted growth. So overall uh, uh, sectoral specific it is yes very much better which was which is in line with expectation. Yogesh, uh, once considered the sunrise sector, the infrastructure basket is now coming under a fair bit of pressure, a mountain of debt, cash flows drying up. What would you advise to people who are holding on to some of these names? Especially uh, uh, on the infrastructure stocks, uh, yes, the environment is not uh, at all positive and not supportive as well uh, till now. And uh, it seems that, you know, uh, headwinds are still there. So we are, uh, those who are not interest, invested so far, we are just uh, bearing them out so far. And those who are invested now already, it is uh, so much down and pessimism, surrounded by pessimism. There is no point exiting from this level. So better hold on to that and uh, because uh, everything clarity will come post-election results only. Till then, uh, there is no future for this and because uh, uh, rupee, again, uh, rupee dollar parity is not favorable and economical condition is also not favorable and new orders are also lacking. So just avoiding this infrastructure uh, sector as a whole. We spoke to a textile company it's not a fancy tech sector but some of a couple of results have been fairly okay too the management sounded fairly confident of the next three four quarters looking good as well yogesh have you looked at these companies in the last couple of quarters uh per se textile no needle is not per se we have not uh, i have not looked in any of the companies per se because uh, the raymond was last result which was not so good and still uh, companies uh, quarter and quarter there is a loss again uh, but not really nothing on the textile side what's your view on some of the banking names because brokerages are downgrading some of these stocks left right and center uh, yeah, the only reason being that, you know, uh, for curtailing volatility and uh, appreciation of uh, foreign currency against rupee, uh, there, is, there are some measures has been taken by RBI as well as the finance minister, which is not so good for uh, banking sector per se, especially. And uh, uptick cycle on interest is now uh, again on the upside. So which is not favor for, uh, uh, you know, loan book growth and other stuffs for banking sector, whether it is a public sector or private sector. Though uh, the difference between private and public would be NPA factor, which is, you know, a lot more uh, differences there. So overall, uh, we have seen correction in banking sector, but uh, PSA sector is low. Hmm. Fair call. Uh, <clears throat> you know, there's some bit of a perk up in DLF after the last uh, slam dunk that it has seen. Uh, 5% higher today, results tomorrow, more talk of maybe some more asset sales in order to retire debt. Uh, how, how, how do you, you view DLF in particular? See, if you see on the compliance side, it is fair and fine. Uh, otherwise, uh, only debt is a problem, 21,000 crore uh, debt till uh, March 2013. And uh, if company is looking at something, you know, reducing 4,000 to 5,000 crores uh, in this financial year, they, uh, they are aiming towards that. And uh, we have seen the stock has corrected heavily and uh, it is quoting at much more discount to the NAV as well. The fair valuation would be somewhere around 260 and right now it is 50, almost 48 to 50% 50 discount to the NAV. 
uh, then we are looking at uh, at least on the result way we can see some spike and let us see how they are uh, what is the strategy from the management for reducing the debt if that is in place and then yes of course we can uh, look at uh, at least uh, DLF as an investment buy side Okay, take a look at the overall market momentum and uh, we do seem to be recovering and with quite a bit of conviction as 55.50 has been crossed, it's now 55.61 on the index with the Sensex up by a good 118 points. Broader markets following suit, the market breadth is healthy, you've got healthcare, uh, Pardon me, you've got real estate, metals, auto and banking stocks, which are holding up pretty smartly. Yogesh, what's the portfolio strategy in a market like this where even when we do see a bounce back, it's with a bit of lack of conviction? Uh, yeah, still the market is in a limbo and uh, technically we have got support but fundamentally there is no support for the market and the stock has uh, reacted much more earlier than uh, Nifty has reacted. Uh, overall 5475 to 5450 seems to be a strong support level for the market on the Nifty as well. And on the portfolio side, yes, there are some stocks which are available at uh, attractively priced uh, in terms of valuation. And uh, particularly if you look at in auto, then uh, you have a great comfort with Maruti here. And uh, sure. of course, with Tata Motors result. And there is also very much uh, good because totally right. we're betting on JLR only. And Mahindra and Mahindra, if you take a call on Monsoon, which is a good Monsoon expected sure. this year. Almost halfway we have done. Hmm. So Mahindra and Mahindra on the tractor business as well as the UV both the ways. These are the three stocks per se in auto looks very strong. And Great. IT, if you see the depreciation of rupees further in on the way, sure, sure. IT would be the better uh, placed uh, companies we have at CL Tech and Tech Mahindra. Which Right. Yogesh, afraid we'll have to leave it at that, running out of time completely. And, and just getting a quick phoner in from Tillakanagar Industries as well. A couple of things, I think they came out with numbers. There's some talk of a stake sale as well. Mr. Lakshmi Narsimhan K, Deputy Managing Director at Tillakanagar Industries, joins us on the phone line. Good having you. Thanks so much for joining in. Uh, we will talk about your results.